Happy to have you with us for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. And this is Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Barry. Allie LaForce, our reporter tonight. As we approach the playoffs, let's see how the East is looking. You take a look at the Knicks. With the playoffs fast approaching, they are... well-positioned at second place in the conference and of course there's Philadelphia only a few spots below you know for the Knicks they've been relentless competitors all season long they've assured themselves of a lot of home games in the postseason and we'll see if they can capitalize so let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers Harrison and Embiid are in the middle Maxi out there with Kyle Lowry and it's Oubre in at the three and for New York we've got Dante DiVincenzo Isaiah Hardenstein is out there with Josh Hart. Then it's OG Ananobi, and it's Brunson in at the point. Rivalry games, Grant, always extra spicy, especially when they feature teams from the same conference. Ooh, I like a little spice. But remember, only one team per conference gets to the final, so that's going to naturally develop some rivalries here and there. So tonight should be a really competitive game. Maxi against DiVincenzo. Outside Oubre. Fires the three. Drills it from deep. Can't lay off Oubre that far. He's good at taking advantage of that separation. And an Obi, a screen on Lowry. Brunson against Lowry. Pass to Hardenstein. Now Ananobi. Brunson with it. Just two to shoot. The rebound by Embiid. Oubre against DiVincenzo. Outside Maxi. Now Harris. Embiid a screen on Ananobi. And here's Harris outside. The Knicks with the rebound. Hart passes to DiVincenzo. Outside Hart. Back to Brunson. To the paint. Here's Hartenstein. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Excellent court vision from Brunson as he's able to find the open man. Philadelphia has gone one or two from three-point land so far. DiVincenzo against Maxi. Harris outside. Misses the three. The three, DiVincenzo. They get it back. Here's Hart. The shot from the low post is good. Second effort there from Hart. No guard better at getting to the boards than Josh. Maxi passes to Embiid. Stein pulls it in. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Back to Hart. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Gritty play by a gritty player, Josh Hart. Hard to deny him. For Philadelphia, they've gone one of four to begin this one. Well, when Josh Hart gets going, his confidence skyrockets, Grant. That seems to be the key for him. Well, his floor game is special regardless. I mean, the rebounding and defense are his bread and butter, B.A. And when he's hitting shots, he becomes the complete package on the wing. For New York, they've gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Hartenstein. Right side Hart. And he drives in. The three. DiVincenzo. The rebound by Embiid. And so Lowry will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Inside. Here's Harris. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Well, Lowry sees the breakdown and then he knows the guy's going to be open. What a delivery that was. 
Lowry against Brunson. Down low. Outside Ananobi. Hard against Harris. Outside Brunson. And the three-pointer goes. Well, the improvement from Brunson has mostly come from his shooting. We know he can go inside, but three balls, that's a good sign. Lowry surveys the D. Pass to Maxi. Now Embiid. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. For three, Lowry. Hart pulls it in. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Brunson. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Off the pass from Hart, he's made major strides playmaking-wise, turning himself into a more complete offensive player. Up top, Lowry. Brunson defending. Here's Embiid. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Plays like that, so easy for him. Pass to Brunson. Outside Ananobi. Got a piece of it. In transition. Here's Oubre. Oh, nice D from Ananobi. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Now here's Brunson coming off a solid outing against Chicago. Lowry outside. Pass to Embiid. That shot missing. The Knicks with the lead. And Anobi finds Brunson. Here's Hardenstein. Hart passes to Hardenstein. Oh, stolen by Embiid. Outside Maxi. Out to Lowry. Harris against Hart. Harris outside. Six to shoot. Launches a three. The Knicks pull it in. Hardenstein's got four rebounds in the game. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Here's Brunson. Pass to Hardenstein. Shoots over Maxi, and Hartenstein gets it to go. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Philadelphia's gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Maxi passes to Oubre. Oh, that doesn't go on the chance to tie. The Knicks have got six of ten attempts to fall. Outside Ananobi. Back to Brunson. To the inside. And Hartenstein gets it to go. Now it's a five-point New York lead. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And the 76ers call time here.
And the Knicks making a change here. McBride's checked in. Heald's checked in for the Sixers. Melton comes in for Maxi. Now here's Lowry. Defense is right there. Pass to Embiid. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Hardenstein's got a rebound number five here tonight. DiVincenzo with it. Now here's Hart. 11 feet out. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. Well, great play down low. I mean, you expect the defense to adjust, collapse maybe, but that should open up things on the perimeter later in the game. The let's Find make the sure lane. that that selfish Let's nerve out. doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. Free throw no good for Hart. And now that we're late into the season, Grant, what do you think teams are trying to accomplish? Well, you know, B.A., for the playoff teams, it's all about getting the best seed and matchup possible. And, of course, for those lottery teams, just continuing to develop and build winning habits. Now here's Melton. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. Sends it home from three-point land. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Here is DiVincenzo, still without a bucket. To the middle, from seven feet. Hartenstein, no good. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty, uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Now here's Lowry, taking a look at his production, averaging just over eight points a game. Harris, the shot is good. Now, this is a, a strength of Tobias Harris finding good rhythm now in the mid-range shot. Here's McBride. Pass to Ananobi. And there's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That's his first foul of the game for the Knicks. Bogdanovich has checked in for Ananobi. And it's Burks in for DiVincenzo. Here's McBride. He's guarded by Lowry. McBride passes to Bogdanovich. Gets the three to fall. And the Knicks lead by five. Total focus from Bogdanovich on that shot. Ready to fire off the feet. Here's Lowry. The 11 footer. That's good from Embiid on the assist by Harris. Embiid's got his second bucket on the night. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Bogdanovich passes to Hartenstein. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got five rebounds tonight. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Now here's Lowry. Guarded closely. Let's go with a three. And the 76ers another three. And throughout his career, Lowry has been a threat from that area. Brent, what a player Kyle Lowry has become. Over 15 years in the league and still going strong. It's amazing how Kyle has done such a remarkable job as being reliable and being available for when it counts the most. I and mean, when he's on the floor, there's so many little things that Kyle's able to do to impact winning. And that's where the value really shines through. Now here's Harris. He had nine points in his last time out. Now here's Lowry. Pass to Melton. Clock at six. And that's going to be a travel. And checking out some numbers for Joel Embiid. And he's had a rough past five games. He's had trouble finding his offensive rhythm and just hasn't been as effective as he'd like to be on that end. But this is something all players go through, and I'm sure he'll fight his way back. For the Knicks. Robinson, he's checked in for Hartenstein. Achua comes in for Hart. 
And it's Jalen Brunson in for Burks. Reed's checked in for the Sixers. Batum comes in for Lowry. Now here's Brunson. Five points in the game. Rebounded by Heald. You're not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. From outside the arc, another three for Philadelphia. Wow, <laughs> their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Brunson with it. Looking at his scoring efficiency, he's averaging around 29 a game. To the paint. Here's Achua. Outside Bogdanovich. Here's Brunson outside. And he misses. Only two for six. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Melton on the wing. There's 39 seconds left in the first quarter. Healed from outside. The Knicks with the rebound. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Count that one. Brunson with a great job of just the setup on that play. Now Philadelphia with it. They're on a 13-5 run. Now healed. He's averaging more than 12 a game. A consistent threat on offense. Pass to Harris. Takes the three. He buries it from three. Harris has gotten his third basket of the night. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Sixers ahead. Up by four. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. So on the floor for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. Maxi runs point with Melton at the two. Nicholas Batum out there with Paul Reed. And it's healed in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Bogdanovich. Here's Brunson. He squares up and sinks it. Brunson's got seven points in the game. Good decision there by Bogdanovich. Solid at noticing when the defenses overcommit. Pass to Reed. Maxi surveys. Over Brunson. And it's Maxi missing. New York trailing. Here's McBride. It's deflected. Out of bounds. Nick's ball as New York keeps possession. And the Knicks with the possession here. Back to Achua. Pass to Brunson. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Maxi, And that one's good for Brunson. He's got nine. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Reed. Still no points. Here's Maxi, And he's in the books. Now one for two. Mid-range, plenty of room for that release. He's going to take those all day long. Closed the net on two minutes played here in the second. Brunson passes to Achua. Achua with the dunk. 
used the pick and roll, and then Brunson's court sense allows him to make that play. Heel finds Maxi. Back to Heel. From downtown, and it falls. Two for three from the field so far. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. The last few seasons, the Knicks have had a defensive-minded approach. And that's been the key for them getting back into the postseason, B.A. I mean, they play great team defense and pride themselves on getting stops. You know, one guy who's surprisingly physical at the offensive end, Jalen Brunson. The fundamentals, B.A., around Jalen Brunson's footwork are things that players, young players today, need to study. Incredibly efficient and very dangerous when he gets it going offensively. O.G. Ananobi's checked in for New York. DiVincenzo comes in for McBride. And the free throw, no good. Well, Brent, if you could pick one current player to coach your team, who would it be? B.A., it's a really, really difficult question, but given the success of this player, what he's done on the floor, and what he continues to show himself to be off the floor, I got to pick Steph Curry. And the inspiration that he has just provided, not only the Bay Area, the Golden State Warriors, but revolutionizing the game and the way it's played, he has given everybody the thought of the possibility of that kind of perfection as a shooter. And that's something that I've always taken a lot of pride in as a player. Steph's my guy. Now here's Achua. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Achua with a screen on heel. And an Obi on the take. The kick out to Brunson. Yes, sir! Brunson for three! Well, he hasn't missed yet, guys, and the defense is scrambling for answers to stop this hot start. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, Dylan Brunson has been a steadying presence at the point guard spot for the Knicks. Coach Thibodeau said his mind is probably his greatest asset. He's always been that way. He's mastered all the fundamentals, and the game's not too big for him. Brian? Yeah, in either sense of the word, right? All right, Allie, thank you. Good stuff. And the 76ers call time here. Oubre, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And over the last 10 games, here's a look at the teams that have been putting up the most points. The Sixers, third. This team has been on an absolute tear offensively. It seems like they're able to find a shot every trip down. Shot from the inbound. And Maxi with the lay-in. Maxi's got seven now in this quarter. Yeah, this story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Brunson passes to Achua. DiVincenzo on the wing. Guarded by Heald. Six on the shot clock. Inside. And big finish by Robinson Robinson is very fluid as a big and he comes off that pick ready to shoot Maxi against Brunson the floater some solid defense from Brunson and so it's Brunson with it he brings it up for the Knicks
misses. That would have put him up. For Philadelphia, they've gone four for six here in the second. Outside heel. Pass to Maxi. Picked by Reed. Three pointer. Again, Maxi missing. New York has gone three of six from deep so far. Ananobi passes to Brunson. The three knocks it down from distance. Brunson's got 17. And Brunson capable here of having these binges scoring the basketball. DiVincenzo against Heald. There's the triple. It's hauled in by Robinson. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Ananobi passes to Brunson. Brunson rushes in. Nice shot there, making him 8 for 13. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. Pass to Reed. Looking to end the run. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Jalen Brunson picks one up. Had he play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. First one falls for him. Hartenstein, he's checked in for New York. Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Lowry comes in for Heald. Both free throws good from Maxi. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line pretty much automatic to the inside and the officials whistle a foul on the shot the bucket is good and he'll go to the line we've seen that more than once today an effortless basket inside one shot The Sixers trailing. Up top, Embiid. Embiid drawing the double team. Down low. Here's Maxi. Uneasy two on the layup. Maxi's got 11 points in the quarter. This is a one man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Brunson looks it over. Pass to Ananobi. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Hart's checked in for New York. McBride comes in for Brunson. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Harris is checked in. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throws good from Ananobi. The 76ers have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Embiid finds Lowry. From about 19. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist from Lowry. Lowry's got his third assist of the night. Outside. DiVincenzo. Here's Hardenstein. Embiid covers. Hardenstein a screen. 
Here's Hart. Kicks it out to Ananobi. From deep. Pure from three-point range. Ananobi's got six. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Lowry outside. Harris outside. Embiid a screen on Hart. Harris. And again, it's Philadelphia. Well, Tobias Harris can knock down shots from a lot of spaces on the floor. He is definitely an offensive threat. And an Obi, a screen on Lowry. Pass to Hartenstein. To the inside. Here's Ananobi using his post moves to get the two points. Ananobi's got eight here in this quarter. And you'd think their lead would hold as long as they continue to shoot like this. Lowry outside. Here's Embiid. The kick out to Maxi. The three. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. Yeah, the passing has only gotten better from Embiid. It adds a huge element timeout, to his timeout. game. Now a timeout called by New York. Well, they put Hard. up a nice win against Chicago last timeout. What about their offense? It was a well-oiled machine. Getting them high-quality looks time and time again. Yeah, and talking with the coaching staff, they said in that game, they did a great job of not settling. Keep working the ball around, finding the best look. Let's see if they can keep that up. And a huge Knicks fan, Chris Brickley, has to be happy with what he's seeing. You're one of the more notable trainers in all of sports. Brickley will develop your skills and your style. He leaves no stone unturned. Outside, DiVincenzo. Hartenstein a screen. DiVincenzo, the pass to Hartenstein. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes up on the wing. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Lowry. Six points for him. Harris finds Lowry. Screen by Embiid. Pass to Oubre. Shoots over Ananobi. And there's Oubre. That one's good. On the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got his fourth assist with that last one. And here are the Knicks now. They lead by four. McBride passes to Hart. And an Obi against Oubre. And that one is hammered home. I'll tell you, he is so tough to keep down once he gets near that rim. Yeah, he can get up even a few notches higher. Now here's Maxi. He's got 14. Takes a three. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hartenstein's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. To the paint. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. 
<laughs> they're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Maxi against DiVincenzo. Here's Embiid. The Knicks with the rebound. Hardenstein's got rebound number eight here already in the game. McBride passes to Hardenstein. Now Ananobi. And the layup is good. And now a 10-point New York lead. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. And here's Harris. Nine points in the game. Embiid passes to Harris. Shot clock at six. And another miss by Philadelphia. New York has got it going from deep. Three for three so far in the quarter. Up top, Ananobi. Over Oubre. Ananobi can't get it to go. And it's Lowry with the ball for Philadelphia. Trailing by 10. They're coming off that win against the Heat. Taking on a powerhouse in that one. They just wanted to give themselves a chance and be there at the end. Here's McBride taking a look at his production. Averaging just over eight points a game. The drive by DiVincenzo. And it's blocked by Embiid. You have to be aware of Embiid at all times. He's an outstanding shot blocker. Here's McBride. He's guarded by Lowry. And from the field after that one, three for four now. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Here's Embiid. A 23-point game for him in the win against Miami. And there's the rejection. And it's out of bounds. The Sixers able to retain possession here. And we have to take another look at that block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Clock at six. For three, Maxi. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hardenstein's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Ananobi passes to Brunson. And again, New York with the triple. Exactly what every offense needs. Shooters who can force the defense to extend. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. And so it's the New York Knicks in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. They put in work down low, getting in close and scoring in bunches. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And Tom, what's it going to take down the stretch to win this ballgame? I think just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over, play smart. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Hey, folks, thanks for joining us. It would be an understatement to say it's been a great half for the New York Knicks. Well, they certainly were disguising their game plan, force the ball down low, get some high percentage looks, maybe draw some fouls. They were very physical. This game plan is diesel tested and approved. All right, and now that we are in the later stages of the season, here's how the standings are looking in the East. Well, I think for the Knicks, They've been phenomenal. All the lofty predictions, the expectations, they've all come true. Now comes the hardest part in the postseason. Every team is going to be gunning for them. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half.
And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. I'll tell you what, he's still working on his playmaking skills, but he's been tremendous so far in finding the open man. Well, if we were grading playmaking today, it's an A-plus from him. Dante DiVincenzo. out there with Jalen Brunson then it's OG Ananobi then there's Isaiah Hartenstein and it's Hart in at the four so that's who's on the floor for the Knicks and from the sideline let's catch up with Allie hey Brian well the Sixers have so much firepower but it's all about chemistry anyone knows the way teams grow is by talking and being around each other the connection between the stars it's what's going to help them reach their peak Brian well they've had to deal with some adjustments for sure Allie thanks man good whistle there He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. Now here's Lowry. Pass to Embiid. The Knicks with the rebound. Hardenstein's got rebound number 11. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Here's Brunson, and it's blocked by Embiid. They get it back, and there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up, and there's the foul against Philadelphia. First free throw is good. He does not get the second one. And the 76 are shooting around 50% in the game so far. Pass to Embiid.
Clock at four. Pulls up at the elbow. Good on the jump shot. Embiid's got ten. Yeah, this is what sets Embiid apart from other bigs. That mid-range game is on point. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Grant. Oh, they got a solid roster. But there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers go how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. And one guy who's instant offense when he's hot, Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah, he can get it going offensively. There are nights where it takes a bit for that to happen because he's an opportunistic scorer, but he's got size out of the backcourt. He's a good athlete, a good shooter, and an even better defender. That free throw no good from DiVincenzo. Talking about the New York Knicks, Brent, a team that wants to be seen as a threat again. Yeah, it feels like the New York Knicks are not going to be satisfied until... They're playing in the Eastern Conference Finals or have a chance to win an NBA championship. So these steps are nice, but you're really teasing the New York Knicks fans until you have a chance at a title. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And for DiVincenzo coming into the league, wanting to prove that he belongs, he's done more than that. It's about building his confidence now. Now here's Maxi. He's got 14. Pass to Embiid. Over Brunson. Embiid can't hit. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Brunson finds Hart. Here's Hartenstein. Here is DiVincenzo. Gets the three ball to go. DiVincenzo's got five points in the quarter. And a quick release from Dante there just in time so the defense had no shot at it. Maxi passes to Harris. Now here's Embiid. The kick out to Maxi. Fires the three. Good. And the assist to Embiid. Embiid's got three assists tonight. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. And that one's good for Brunson. Now Brunson, one of those players that's just not going to be denied, determined to convert inside. And he does. Out to the wing. Embiid with it. He's got 10. Blocked. And they recover it. Pass to Ananobi. Brunson with it. He's guarded by Lowry. Outside Brunson. Floats one up. Yep, that one's good. Brunson's got 26. An incredible job. Brunson just measuring off that floater. Harris outside. Pass to Embiid. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Harris outside. Harris on the wing. Six on the shot clock. And the three off target. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Brunson passes to Hartenstein. Hartenstein a screen. Inside. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Now here's Lowry. Six points for him. For three, here's Harris. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got six assists in the game. And so it's Brunson who brings up the ball for the New York Knicks. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Now it's Hart. 
He has six to the middle. Here's Hardenstein. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Ananobi against Ubre. Pass to Maxi. And here's Embiid. The kick out to Maxi. Buries it from three. Maxi's got 20 points. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's Brunson. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. Well, not content to take what the defense gives them. I mean, they're attacking the gaps and getting the ball inside. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific Shoot job two. of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. And that one falls for Oubre. I think a lot of teams around the league are looking for this kind of player and this kind of versatility that Kelly Oubre shows off. And right now his teammates are feeding off that toughness. Heels checked in for Lowry. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And even the players have expressed concern about load management. Are changes afoot, or is this the new normal, Grant? Well, B.A., I think protecting players from injury is smart to do. But maybe the ticket sellers need to highlight the back-to-back -back game so fans are well aware that some players might be sitting. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. Yeah, possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight, taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ballgame. Now a timeout called by New York. And taking a glance now at the league's best shot blocking small forwards over the past month. Number one, Kelly Oubre. You have to be athletic to rack up this many blocks. What an advantage to get high level rim protection from your small forward. The Knicks have gone four of nine in the third quarter. And an obvious screen on Maxi. Brunson against Maxi. Shot from 12. Brunson converts with the D draped all over him. You try to stay as much as you can connected with Brunson, but he just knows how much space he needs to squeeze one off. Embiid high post. He's against Hartenstein. Embiid gets the bucket. The Knicks have gotten five of ten shots to go. Pass to Hartenstein. Now Ananobi. He's covered by Oubre. Takes a 13-footer. Ananobi can't get it to go. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. New York has gotten 21 points so far from three-point land. They're seven of ten. Outside, DiVincenzo. Here's Brunson. With 
with contact. Brunson gets it to go. And Brunson powering right through a very tight defense. To the paint. Here's Harris. And Harris throws it down. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. Pass to Hardenstein. Here's Hart. Out to DiVincenzo from the arc. And again, New York with the triple. Well, you want to chase him off the three-point line. DiVincenzo able to settle in that time. Over to the left wing. And here's Embiid. He's got 12. Again, the sixer score. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. Here's DiVincenzo. Give him eight points now. Hardenstein passes to Brunson. Back to Hardenstein. For three, DiVincenzo. And it's Harris with the rebound. Harris has got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Maxi. Over Brunson. The putback. Ooh, nasty putback from Embiid. Well, they're still losing, but it's not because of him. He's been lights out this quarter. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. For the Knicks, Mitchell Robinson comes in for Hardenstein. And it's McBride in for Jalen Brunson. The Knicks have gotten 7 of 14 attempts to fall in the half. Ananobi on the wing. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The officials were right on top of that one. And the first one at the line is good. Both free throws good from Adenobi. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. 11-point game. Up top, Embiid. Back to Maxi. And 
count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. So for the Knicks, Bogdanovich has checked in for Ananobi, and it's Burks in for DiVincenzo. One shot. That one misses. You know what I appreciate about Mitchell Robinson is his defense and how well he uses his length grip. You know, he is so good, B.A., at getting positioning to alter shots. And he finds ways to come up with a number of blocks, not to mention how active he is on the glass. Here's Maxi, following the bucket by the Knicks. Embiid, a screen on Hart. Here's Harris. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. The 76ers making a switch here. Reed's checked in. Like Tobias Harris's confidence has grown over the past couple seasons, especially on the offensive end. Very capable of taking advantage of smaller defenders. Now here's Burks, right now contributing around ten and a half points a game. Outside heel, Maxi on the wing. The three is up. Hits the trifecta. Maxi's got eleven in the second half. What a performance. Hit two from beyond the arc in the first half, and he's added three more since. Right side, Burks. It's hard on the wing. Six to shoot. Pass to Robinson. And a big finish by Robinson. Mitchell Robinson, one of those guys who you could be blocking out, but it's just not enough with that length. Here's Reed. Back to Maxi. It's hauled in by Robinson. Good job hitting the glass. They're plus eight in rebounding. And he's going for the lob. And a big finish by Robinson. A timing play, but it helps to have a leaper like Mitchell Robinson finish it off. Philadelphia has gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. Maxi finds Harris. 50 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Hart with the defensive effort. New York has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on healed. Drew the defender in close enough for Hart to take advantage and draw the foul. throw good Hart and so crucial for Hart to get to the line establish some confidence he's solid from there but I think it sometimes gets his perimeter game going Jalen Brunson he's checked in for Burks Batum is checked in for Philadelphia Melton comes in for Oubre and both free throws good for Hart in the second half their free throw percentage has improved hitting in the low 80s now Now here's Melton. He's guarded closely. Pass to Maxi. There's the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Maxi's got 28 points for the game. 
Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Here's McBride. He has six. Here's Brunson. Tipped. Outside Maxi. From deep, Melton. And the 76ers, another three. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. It's been all about Jalen Brunson for New York. He's been an offensive force. Now with over 30 points after the quarter. And don't go far. We'll be right back. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. Maxi runs point with Melton at the two. Buddy Heald is out there with Nicholas Batum. And it's Reed in at the center spot. Now here's Maxi over Brunson. And again, it's Philadelphia. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Brunson against Maxi. The baseline, Jay. That one's wide left. The Sixers trailing. Heald passes to Reed. To the left side wing. Down low. Tipped. And it's Maxi missing. And so it's Bogdanovich with it. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Achua finds Burks. Out left to the wing. Here's Brunson. Brunson inside with the finish. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Melton against Burks. Outside Maxi. With the floater. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Outside Burks to the inside. Achua. Achua with the dunk. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Burks against Melton. Outside Maxi. Fires for three. Batum left side. 4 3. Nails it from three. Batum's got himself on the board with a three there. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Burks passes to Brunson. Shoots over Maxi. Brunson misses. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Now here's Maxi. Melton misses. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. Inside. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Hart. Outside Burks. Brunson against Maxi. Brunson misses. The 76ers have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. They double him with a Chua. Maxi finds heel. That three's off the mark. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Right side, Burks. Bogdanovich on the wing. Guarded by Heald. This one for three. 
Bogdanovich, no good. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Here's Melton. It's good. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Timeout called. The Knicks. Hardenstein, he's checked in for Hart. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Hey, guys, over the last break, I listened to Tom Thibodeau address the team. Coach was blunt with his assessment. He said to throw out everything that happened until now. It is a brand new game, and it's only a few minutes. Leave it out on the floor. Back to you guys. Okay, thank you, Allie. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Lowry against Brunson. Pass to Burks. Outside Bogdanovich. Drains the triple. And the Knicks lead by five. Stretching the floor now. Bogdanovich can hurt defenses from there. Embiid with it. Outside heel. Now here's Embiid. Out to Lowry. Three-pointer. Martinstein pulls it in. Martinstein's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. Here's Bogdanovich. The shot's good. And it's a seven-point Nick lead. How about the intensity from Bogdanovich just playing through the interior part of the defense? Pass to Embiid. There's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Embiid. Molding himself into one of the most dominant centers in the league, Embiid has really come into his own. So for the Knicks, Josh Hart's checked in for Achua. Adenobi comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's DiVincenzo in for Burks. And so he hits both. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? I mean, he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. DiVincenzo, the pass to Brunson. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got rebound number 11. Lowry outside. Let's it go from deep. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Well, Lowry has the ball, and right now it has the feeling that he's automatic. Outside Brunson. Check out Brunson going to work inside. He is torching a defense that simply has no answers for him. Lowry outside. Pass to Batum. 
Embiid, a screen on Hart. To the middle. Oh, Embiid with the flush. And there's the process at work. Embiid rolls off the pick and right into scoring position. Brunson finds Ananobi. Clock at six. Pass to Hardenstein. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. Harris has checked in for the Sixers. Maxi comes in for healed. Philadelphia has gone two of six so far in the fourth. To the right side. Embiid with it. He's against Hartenstein. They grab their own miss. Great positioning on the putback. And it's a tie ball game. And the team counts on Embiid for this, to grab loose balls and send them right back. And it'll be on the wing. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Maxi, that's good. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but when it gets close, he's getting the ball. Snatched up! Ananobi passes to Hartenstein. Outside Hart. Tries again. And the layup is up and in. Defense making it difficult for Hart, but he stays tough and gets his shot. Lowry against Brunson. Lowry, the pass to Embiid. Shot from 12. Got it. Embiid's got 18 points in just the second half. And so it's Hart with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. Pass to Brunson. Outside Ananobi. Now here's Brunson. He's guarded by Lowry. Outside, DiVincenzo. Yes, and a nice assist from Brunson. Brunson's got his sixth assist of the night. DiVincenzo continues to get reliable with that jump shot. Now here's Lowry. To the paint. Harris' shot is good. Harris has got 21. Tremendous momentum building toward those final possessions. Yeah, with eight lead changes so far, it feels like this is going to come down to the last shot. Brunson against Lowry. Shot from 12. Here's Hartenstein. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. And nobody putting out much of an effort to stop him. Surprising. In a close game, a lack of energy on defense. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. Now here's Maxi. Here's Embiid. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hartenstein's got a rebound number 15 here tonight. You've got to love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Here's Hart. Back to Brunson. Outside Ananobi. Six on the shot clock. The shot. Another shot. And he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. Pass to Embiid. Goes back up. It's rebounded by New York. Ananobi finds Brunson. Back to Ananobi. it in by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. And it's a five-point Nick lead. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. He can be such a physical force. It's so hard to keep him beat from getting to the free throw line.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. first and that shrinks the margin to just four yeah welcoming the pressure Joel and B with a chance to prove himself here it's both from the strike and yeah, not the guy that you want to put at the line in these moments he's not missing these New York has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Brunson up top. He's guarded by Lowry. Brunson misses. Philadelphia shooting just around 45% on the fourth. Harris passes to Lowry. The three is up. And it's Harris. That time on the assist by Maxi. Maxi's got six assists here tonight. A minute and a half left to play in the fourth quarter. Lowry against Brunson. Tries to spin move. Hartenstein. The rebound by Lowry. And for the 76ers, they're shooting it with confidence. 54% so far. And an Obi with a double team. Maxi finds Lowry. to Embiid. Lowry outside to take the lead. Laces one from three. Wow. That takes steady nerves right there. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up timeout, enough. Timeout. Now a timeout called by New York. Bart. They're trailing by three. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Fifty two seconds left in the game. DiVincenzo the pass to Ananobi. Hardenstein a screen down low. Count it. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at the elevation on that dunk, B.A. Man, he just cocked it back and fired it down with one hand. Now here's Lowry to the inside. Embiid. Cash. And <laughs> one thing you can say about Embiid, he never shrinks from the moment. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings timeout, it up for timeout. the New York Knicks. Now a timeout called by New York. Started. They trail by three. 29 seconds left to play in the fourth.
29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Hardenstein. Outside Brunson. Thirteen feet out, and it's in. And that one brings them within one. And Brunson's got the mindset to deliver. And so they foul intentionally. Yeah, you no, know, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. Gets the first, and that'll put him up two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Couldn't have asked for anything better there. Only a three can tie it now. Brunson passes to Hartenstein. Outside Ananobi. Beyond the arc. Can't get the three to fall. And now they foul and stop the clock. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. Shooting two. Cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that gives him a four-point cushion. So a close game sees Philadelphia taking this one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. They had to dig deep to come out on top. Yeah, you know, some teams might buckle under the pressure towards the end. The crowd was so amped up, such a hostile environment. But they stood tall and got the win. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Kyle, a comeback win. What was Coach Nick Nurse saying to you guys as you fought your way back? He literally said the same thing to us in every timeout. And I think it finally got through to us. And we picked it up, playing harder. We responded really well to coach uh, coaching. And that's what he's been doing his whole career. He's just kind of helping us respond to everything we need to respond to. And he's been doing unbelievable. So we had to come out here and, and, and do what he needed us to do. Consistency has been key. Thanks so much, Kyle. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Joel Embiid.